Hi, this is Barton Smith, BaseballArrow.com. Uh, this is the third in a series of videos about spin efficiency and uh, what it is, what's good about it, and this is the third part, what's bad about it. Why would you not want your pitch to be efficient? Uh, so uh, there's a lot of talk about the fact that the term efficiency is a bit problematic because it, uh, it seems to imply that more is better. And more definitely is better if you're trying to get the ball to move because of the way it's spinning. Uh, and that's mostly um, a, a thing that will come into play if you're throwing a, a fastball or a curveball, if you're trying to make the ball break a lot due to spin. Uh, now, there are other pitches where that's not the case. And the, even from the conventional point of view, before we get into seam shifted wake effects, uh, the slider is an excellent example of a pitch where efficiency is bad. Uh, usually sliders have very low efficiency and they do this on purpose. Uh, the idea of a slider is to throw a pitch that looks like a fastball. It's thrown somewhat similarly to a fastball, but is spinning with much more gyro spin. So it's spinning much more like a bullet than a fastball, which would be spinning back like this. And so the Magnus effect on it, the, the effect of the spin is to, to do not much. The, the, the pitch doesn't actually move much, or many of them don't. So uh, that's the conventional way that um, efficiency can be a bad thing. But in addition to that, it's, it's a bad thing for seam-shifted wake pitches, which is what I'm okay, all about. Okay, so why is efficiency bad for a seam-shifted wake pitch? And another way to say that is, why do you need gyro to make a seam-shifted wake pitch happen? Well, if, you, if you've been following me much, you know that my theory is that in order to get seam-shifted wake stuff to happen, I need seams to be um, on the top or bottom of the ball if the ball is moving that way. Um, and uh, so if you look at this ball and I spin it around, you're going to see that that's never going to happen. Now, however, if I add gyro to this, which is to say if the ball's moving that way, that I tilt the ball back like this, now you're going to see that all of a sudden that same seam is residing right here on top of the ball where I need it to be. So that's the main reason why efficiency can be bad for a seam shift away pitch. We need the gyro in order to get the seams where we want them to be.